Hi, it's Laura. Thanks for stopping by my channel today, Aquamarine18. You will know from the title of this video that this is a walkthrough for a new Oracle deck called Animal Allies 2 by Jessica Swift. And I had mentioned in my prior um, Depth Year update video that this was a deck that I had purchased but it hadn't um, arrived to me yet. It was in the mysterious shipping limbo between the United States and Canada where tracking on, on both sides seems to not have it, but it has arrived safe and sound, so I wanted to share the deck with you. I have removed it from its packaging, um, but I'll you know show how it was sent to me and how I received it. Um, it came in just a padded mailing envelope, arrived safe and sound, which is great. Uh, and the reason that I ordered Animal Allies 2, besides the fact that I just love Animal Oracle decks, as many of you will know, is that in particular, I'm a big fan of Animal Allies by Jessica Swift. And I've had this deck for quite some time. Um, it has a nice sturdy box and the cards are colorful. The animals are really expressive, um, which I like. I feel like they really have personalities in this deck. And um, I like animal decks that don't have too many keywords or don't have keywords so that when I have associations with an animal for myself, I can work with them that way. Um, or I can work with the creator's associations if I want to read those. Um, so this is one of my favorite um, animal decks to work with. I chose my um, kind of year ahead spread. I pick one animal for each month of the year, every year. And back in December, I used this deck uh, for that. And so when I found out that there was going to be an Animal Allies 2 and that it was going to have the same backs um, as this deck and be the same size and the same card stock and so on so that you could easily combine them into a huge 120 card animal deck, I pre-ordered it right away. So very excited about that. I'll just keep the um, Animal Allies, the first one, open so that we can show a quick comparison of the cards. So. I've just unwrapped things. I don't want to be fumbling with um, like cutting plastic and things like this. Um, I did just get the deck and I've just opened it, you know, 10 minutes ago. So it's still my first impressions, but you know, the part of the unboxing that is me fumbling trying to get cling film open is probably not that interesting. So I opted to cut that part out. Uh, so this is what I received and it came inside a um, padded envelope as I mentioned and then the deck was also wrapped in this nice um, yellow tissue paper which I kind of tried to, to save but not entirely successfully. So I received a thank you so much for your order card uh, postcard size which says you are magnificent on the back with a wolf there. I got a little owl sticker and if I remember correctly, it's been quite a while since I pre-ordered this. I pre-ordered it like as soon as I found out that it existed. Um, I believe that there was something to do with, you know, if you're one of the first hundred or so to pre-order the deck that you get like a little extra treat. So I believe that this owl sticker is the, is the extra treat. And then there's just a little handwritten thank you um, for my order, hoping that I love these new Oracle cards from Jessica. And I will put a link to Jessica Swift's shop below. She has lots of great things there. Um, and both Animal Allies and Animal Allies 2 are both available there. Um, I bought both of these decks with my own funds, as you know, all the decks that I show um, that's true of, unless I mention specifically otherwise. And I think that, you know, something that I think is worth mentioning is that this deck. Um, the first one, anyway, that I'm familiar with, and I'm sure this one as well. Um, this deck is really great quality and very affordable for a independently produced deck. It has a really nice matte, um, fairly thick, but not overly thick uh, cardstock. Really smooth, shuffles really, really, really nicely. Um, you know, a nice sturdy box. And both of these decks um, each cost $22.95 US dollars, which for an indie deck I think is, is really, really affordable. Um, you know, I'm certainly, I'm watching my, my spending right now between, 
you know, between unemployment and the exchange rate and, and the cost of shipping and so on, you know, a lot of the time independent decks, um, you know, ordering them to get to me in Canada, like decks that are not produced in Canada or aren't shipped from Canada, it can get really, really expensive, you know, thinking about the exchange rate on shipping, you know, and shipping is really expensive, which I know is out of the hands of the creators, but you know, it can make a deck really expensive. This deck is, is not expensive. And I think that it's a really excellent quality for, for what it costs. Um, and I'm very, very appreciative of that. Like twenty two ninety five, that's in the domain of the cost of a mass market deck, right? Uh, but, the, but the quality is, is indie and excellent. So without further ado, this is Animal Allies 2 Oracle Cards. And I'm not sure what type of bird this is, but I think that we'll probably find out um, in, in the deck. So both of the decks say an uplifting 60 card deck in the corner. And so on the back, you can see some pictures of some cards here. And it says 60 more gorgeous cards following the original Animal Allies Oracle deck to deepen your connection to animal energies. And it has pictures of narwhal, hedgehog, and antelope. And then it just notes at the bottom that it includes a fold out sheet. So the same as what the first deck comes with box is nice and sturdy comes with one of my favorite features the finger indent which makes opening the box not a horrible feat of strength which is great um, so when you open the cards and again I just cut this off a few minutes ago so that you know I didn't want to be ripping through things um, it comes in a plastic just the plastic um, band and what you get is the cards and the um, pamphlet. So you can see how thick this deck is. Um, I now have the ability to make a deck twice this thick by putting them together. Um, that would be a massive deck. So the fold out that it comes with. Oh, and I will show one other thing. I forgot to show this um, inside the um, top of the box for Animal Allies 2. It says magical messages abound. And inside the bottom of the box, it says, listen closely, ear to the wind. And so it comes with this fold out pamphlet. The first one did as well. I don't use it. Like the one for the first, um, for the first deck. You know, I've read some of them, but for an animal deck, I mostly like prefer to um, go with my own, um, you know, intuitive interpretation of my own associations with the particular animal. Um, you know, some I have really, of course, strong associations with if they're animals that I see like all the time. And then I like to combine that with research about the animal. So learning about um, their habits and their, um, you know, ways of living, their, their diet and their habitat and so on. Um, because I feel like that also gives a lot and, and, you know, yields a lot of associations for me. So I prefer uh, that way than just reading someone else's interpretations personally. But it does come with this big fold out and it says Animal Allies 2 in the center. Same thing on the back. So you get like a paragraph, um, a paragraph about each animal. But there's no keywords on the cards at all. Then there are two extra cards that come with it. One of them has Animal Allies 2 on the back with a little, um, what is this called, ladybug. And it just has on it a simple way to use this deck. And so it's, it's a one card draw, um, you know, shuffle the card, draw a card, um, who appears, this animal ally has a message for you. It's up to you to discern its meaning. Use your intuition, listen to the answers that come, trust them. Use the description included to deepen your understanding. To develop your relationship with an animal ally, it can be powerful, it can be powerful and insightful to study its wild nature further. So this is exactly um, how I would um, work with this deck. And when I have my animal of the month, um, every month this is something that's included in that practice for me. The second card, and people who know me will know that I love things like this is teachers resources bibliography and gratitude i think everything should have a bibliography that is my personal 
view. I think bibliographies are really important. So this little card is a kind of combination uh, of thank yous and a couple of other decks are listed here, a couple of books, a couple of websites, and an iPhone app for meditations that she uses. So um, there's a little, a little bit of resources there anyway. On to the part that I'm sure that folks are here to see. It only took 10 minutes <laughs> to get to the cards. Okay. So there's 60 cards, as I mentioned. And I believe, yeah, the first one was like this too. Um, the cards arrive in alphabetical order. And the pamphlet is also um, in alphabetical order. So easy to find um, each animal if you like to work with the pamphlet. So, alpaca. I'm going to try not to say too much about every single card, but I really like <laughs> alpacas. And once when I was hiking, I passed, like totally unbeknownst to me, um, very, very close to an alpaca farm, like right beside their fence. And like not a big, like they probably had three of them there, but, um, and an alpaca. So I'm hiking and hiking. All of a sudden there's just like an alpaca head in my face. Um, so that's what I think of when I think of alpacas, um, but I really like them. I think they're really cool. Angelfish. Antelope. I love all the different background colors in this deck. Um, and I guess I should show, um, these are the backs. And the backs are the exact same as the first Animal Allies, you know, to facilitate combining the decks. The cardstock is exactly the same, nice, sturdy, matte. It has held up really well to a lot of shuffling in use. Um, so I appreciate that. Here's one you don't see too often, Banana Slug. <laughs> Black Panther. Blue Jay, one that I share my backyard space with is a Blue Jay. Camel. Cat. And I do like, um, you know, I feel like a lot of animal oracle decks don't always include, um, you know, the animals that we think of as more domesticated animals or animals that we mostly encounter as, as pets. Um, you know, but they're just as much animals as any other, um, including humans. So I do like when they're included in um, as well. And obviously I have strong associations with cat in particular since I live with two of them. Caterpillar. Chipmunk. Chipmunk is another one that I see pretty much every day. Cow. Another example of a domesticated animal that doesn't get featured very often in decks, in my experience. Crane. Dog. And I like that the dog looks very happy. I find that um, Jessica's portraits of the animals are very um, kind of expressive of that animal's personality. Like they're, they have like little facial expressions that I really like. Donkey. Dove, duck, someone else I see um, very frequently when I go canoeing in my town. Egret, so egret is who is on the front, um, the front of the box for this deck. I think I've seen egrets before, but not one quite this um, puffy, so that's kind of fun. Elk, flamingo, giraffe, goat. I like goats, um, but my actually my first thought always with goat. Uh, when I was a kid, we lived um, where there was this like animal farm that you could go to. 
and you could go and feed, you know, feed stale bread to the ducks and see their, they had cows and different things like this. And um, one time when we were there, a goat head butted my brother in the butt. And my brother was like a toddler at the time. And the goat head butted my brother in the butt and my brother went flying like 10 feet. And he was, he was fine. Like I wouldn't be giggling about it, obviously, if he was seriously injured, but um, it was really funny. So I think of goat sometimes as saying like, you know, get out of the way. <laughs> That's just a personal association. <laughs> Gorilla. Grasshopper. I see a lot of grasshoppers. I like grasshoppers. Hedgehog. My brother had a hedgehog growing up. Hippo. I'm a little bit, I feel like hippos are a little bit intimidating animals to me. But I like watching videos of them swimming. Hyena, koala, ladybug, lemur, that must be the ring-tailed lemur, leopard, llama, Luna moth. There's a Luna moth in um, 100 Ink Animals um, Oracle deck as well, but that's another one that you don't see too, too often. Oh, I like this one. Manatee. I like them all. Are we kidding? <laughs> Mountain goat. Narwhal, featured on the back of the box. Newt, Orca, Ostrich, on a very, very pink background, Panda, and I think just in case folks are wondering, there's no um, significance like in terms of like suits or anything like that with the colors of the background. It's just, um, you know, a variety of colors. Pangolin, another, pangolin's also in 100 ink animals, but um, not one that I had really known very much about until I uh, found it there. Parrot. Peacock. Pelican. I just recently saw pelicans um, for the first time in the wild. There were pelicans flying over where I stayed in Mexico every day. Penguin. And another thing that I like about this deck, I don't particularly care for, and I actually don't have any in my collection, I don't think, um, animal decks where the animals are too anthropomorphized, like made to be in clothes or costumes or like wearing, you know, human things. Um, on their bodies. I don't, you know, I can appreciate the aesthetics of some of those decks, but I always just feel like, you know, why would you put an animal in clothes <laughs> for the most part? Like the animal probably doesn't want to be in clothes, you know? Um, but there are little, like this penguin has a little crown, but it's kind of, it almost looks like it's a kind of um, like chalk drawing on the background more so than actually on the animal itself. And I quite like that actually. Ooh. Pig. Pigs are so cute. Baby pigs are cute. Polar bear. My mom told me recently, I had forgotten this, that when I was a child, that my favorite animal was the polar bear. Porcupine. There are porcupines where I live. Um, see them occasionally, not too often, but they are around. Prairie dog, rhinoceros, seahorse, oh, baby, baby seal, so cute. Sea turtle, 
I do like that this deck also, <laughs> I'm sorry, I like this, and I like this, and I like this. I like that this deck has a good um, mix of, you know, animals that live in the water, birds, mammals, um, there's some insects, um, all different kinds of animals, and also a um, geographic range, like a wide global range of animals that live all over the place. Sheep. Stingray. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. One that I struggle with a little bit. The artwork is beautiful, but unicorn. <laughs> I generally like, um, you know, a deck with mythical creatures or a deck with animals in the world and not a mix of the two, but we shall see. I'm going to read what the deck has to say, and by the deck I mean the pamphlet, about the unicorn, because I think that that's the only mythical creature in either of these decks, at least that we've gotten to so far. Unicorn says, Making dreams come true, possibility, wishes fulfilled, gentle and beautiful, magical power, healing yourself, good luck, May all your dreams come true today. Call on Unicorn to carry you swiftly towards your greatest hopes, dreams, visions, and aspirations. Um, so, um, you know, I feel a little bit weirdly about that as an inclusion, um, but the card is beautiful, um, no doubt. And with an animal deck, you know, or any oracle deck for the most part, oracle decks that don't have systems so much, you can always take out a card if there's a card that poses an issue if you want to, right? A few left. Walrus. Wasp. See plenty of those. Woodpecker. These also live um, in my region. We hear them often. Yak. And zebra is last. So I love it. <laughs> I love the first one, and I love this one too. Um, animal Allies and Animal Allies 2 by Jessica Swift that because the backs are the same can create a super deck. This would be a really big deck. Um, I think I'm going to work with the second deck on its own for a while. Um, since I've worked with the first deck on its own, you know, spend some time with this new one and then maybe we'll put them together, we'll see. Um, but I love it, it's colorful, um, it looks great, I think. Um, I love everything that I loved about the first deck, I love about this one too. Um, the colors, the cardstock, everything. Um, and I look forward to working with this deck. So let me know what you think in the comments. Did you order Animal Allies too? And if so, you know, has it come to you yet? And are you enjoying it? Or have you worked with Animal Allies 1? Do you love animal decks, you know, or do you not love animal decks? Because that's fine too. Um, and do share your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all again soon. Have a great day.